We are 523 days away from that presidential election. We're also 158 days away from the November 8th, 2011 election day, which will, among other things, find Kentucky voting for a new governor or perhaps the same governor. We'll see. But this man would like it to be somebody new. David Williams is the Republican candidate for governor, Senate president in Kentucky, and joins us now. Thank you for being here this morning. Tim, thanks for letting me come in there. It's a beautiful morning in Kentucky. And it's, it's a beautiful morning. Anytime we can be on the radio together talking politics, the way I look at it. Um, we have an election coming up this year. And, of course, people try to read into elections what they will. 2010 was a referendum on the president, maybe, and the special election in the 26th. In New York a couple of weeks ago was, a, uh, I guess, a referendum on Medicare. That's the way some analysts look at it. What do you think the election in 2011 is for governor of Kentucky? Well, you know, there are four gubernatorial elections, as you're well aware, uh, in, in this cycle. Uh, Mississippi and uh, Louisiana sh- should be safely in the Republican column. Uh, West Virginia looks like it's going to be increasingly competitive. And then you have the Commonwealth of Kentucky, which is – has been a bellwether state many times in presidential elections. So we have an incumbent governor who's uh, a pretty traditional uh, 70s uh, sort of uh, Democrat uh, liberal governor who has uh, created a pretty tremendous budget situation uh, problems in this state. We have un- tremendous unfunded liability in our pension plan, which he refused to re- refuses to recognize needs to be changed to defined contribution for a defined benefit plan. Uh, Obviously, the Obama administration is very unpopular in Kentucky because of cap and trade and because of intervention in the, by the Environmental Protection Agency into the, the cooperations in the state, which are crucial. So those are some of the issues we, we, we face in the state. And then Obamacare would hit Kentucky tremendously uh, with the, the additional mandated coverages in, in, in the Medicaid population. And in a state that has a, a relatively high level of poverty, the Medicaid problem is a tremendous issue in the state of Kentucky. So those are some of the issues that we face here in the state. And, and Governor, the present governor, Governor Bashir, runs from Barack Obama when he comes to the state to visit our troops down at Fort Campbell, doesn't want to be seen with him, but then says he's going to support him in next year's election. So those are the sort of... Uh, situations that we find here in the state that's been identified in a recent Forbes magazine article as the worst managed state in, in, in America, worse than California, worse than Illinois. So, you know, that's the situation we're facing. We look for a knockdown, drag out uh, campaign. How much, uh, and this is not meant as anything other than just a question, how much are you responsible for what has been taking place as a, the president of the Senate in Kentucky? Well, you know, I've been president of the Senate for 10 years, and during that time period, we've reduced the personal income tax from about 8.75 to less than 6%. We did away with the corporate license tax. We reduced the corporate and personal income taxes. As I said, we've held down property taxes. We've led the effort to change uh, from a defined benefit plan to a defined contribution plan. Uh, without success because of the opposition of this governor, and we haven't ever had control of the House of Representatives here. So I can make a very good case that David Williams, as president of the Kentucky State Senate, has tried to lead the state in a direction, but I haven't been governor, and only the governor has the bully pulpit to take the lead on some issues that need to be changed. So uh, there there are those that want to blame anyone who's been in government, but I, I think I have a very positive record of change since I've been president of the state Senate, and when you get down to it, we're going to compare my vision for the future with that of the incumbent governor, and that's the choice people have to make, and I think the choice will be clear. Do you think, and again, we're speaking with David Williams, he's the Republican candidate for governor in Kentucky in the election coming up on November of this year. Is it possible for Kentucky to create jobs without the federal government providing either stimulus funds or money for things like construction projects? Well, you know, uh, I personally don't believe that stimulus funds create jobs. Uh, The problem we have in the Commonwealth of Kentucky is that we have a tax structure that's out of line, primarily with the states of the South. We have heavy income taxes, which uh, push people to look at, at other states. You compare Kentucky uh, to uh, Tennessee or Texas or the other states of the South who who, uh, have tax systems that uh, tax consumption rather than productivity. You take a look at uh, the the labor laws in the state of Kentucky. We're not a right-to-work state. 
you, you, you take a look at, at, at our state as far as the level of debt we have on our unfunded liability of our pension plans or the unemployment insurance, which is out of line with other states. And, and companies that want to come to Kentucky have to take a look as to whether they want to assume those burdens when they come here. So the, the formula for job creation in Kentucky has very little to do with infrastructure money that might come from the federal government or or any large guests what we need to do is have the federal government to get out of the way and to quit trying to intervene and to realize that the states that created the federal government the federal government did not create the states and uh, we we just need to to be a state that has a government that will stand up to the federal government as they try to impose their will upon the various states whether it be through obamacare or the or the action of the uh, environmentally uh, incorrect actions, <laughs> in my opinion, of the Obama administration in trying to shut down the coal industry and, and trying to uh, make our electricity rates shoot through the roof, which is one of the great advantages we have as a coal-producing state. You mentioned that uh, Kentucky is not a right-to-work state. Is that something you would seek to change as governor? Yeah, you know, this is an issue that has never been even championed by the by this chamber of commerce in the in the state of kentucky people we have a very low percentage of uh, labor population uh, in the state and even many of the people in the local unions who talk to me realize that we are at a disadvantage uh, among uh, southern states in particular uh, even virginia as you know has a right to work uh, tennessee the other states to the south have all become right to work states and it's going to take a lot of education i personally favor that whether or not that's going to be the top of my agenda as we attack uh, the other issues that we have as far as our un- unfunded liability. You know, it takes some heavy lifting to take on the, the big unions across uh, the, the country, and I'm going to have to incorporate some help for public education purposes on a myriad of issues, and that's one of them. All right. Well, we appreciate you spending time with us, and uh, we will catch up, I'm sure, before the election in November. David Williams, Senate President in Kentucky and Republican nominee, for Governor, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. And any of your listeners can take a look at us at www.williamsfarmer.com. Thanks a lot, Ian. Thank you very much, sir.